Nilie kidogo anaona shati imekuwa too much anatoa shati. Yeah. <laughs> Anakaa kidogo anaona hii longi bana hapa ana inaanguka. They keep on running you know mama kabla hajua the clothes on your max set. Bio. Go. Bio. Bio unapota mtu vuk bila alivyozaliwa. So you can find some of the naked people running at night Tell hours. Me. Do you want to expect my son to marry from such a family? Amen. Amen. That is why it was very much important for this delegation to find out who these people are before Because we get married. Because it was very important for us to find out who these people are before we get married. We don't want to tap this kind of father. At the time we have to take care of the tabia like this. Amen. You as a Joshua and as a man. We are like a Joshua and a man. You can lead these people to heaven or you can lead them to hell. Unesongosa hawa watu wakaenda mbinguni au na kawaeleongoza waende jannah. That's what God has given you. Hiyo ndio kitu Mungu amekuachia. And I said yesterday. Na nikasema jana. Very sorry. Ya kwamba pole. That some people will find themselves in hell not because they wanted to go to hell. Kwa sababu na watu wengine watajipata katika jannah si kwamba wanalikuwa wanapenda. Because of you. Kwa sababu yako. Change your direction and foundation today. So badilisha mwelekeo wako na msingi wako leo. You heard of the story of that young boy who was a thief. Ukasikia habari ya yule kijana alikuwa mwizi. He stole. Akaiba. He started by bringing a pencil. Akaanza kuleta penseli. He showed the parent, I have a new pencil. Amasa anaonyesha wazazi wake kama niko na penseli mpya. It's very good of you. Asema hawa ya uzuri ndoto yako. Next day he brought a cup. Mwingine si yake analeta kikombe. Ah, that's very good of you. Ah, umepambana, umepambana. <laughs> the next week he brought a chicken. Nikuji chayo ndio hiyo nguku imeto imeingia. Ah, you are going to enjoy your very good meal. Wewe tutaenda kukula leo chakula nzuri kwa sababu yako mtoto yako. Thank you. Ah, sasa umepambana sana. I'm going to look for unga ya chapati. Na nitaenda kuangalia unga ya chapati sasa tu. And the boy was very happy. Na kijana anaelea kufurahi kufurahi. So doing good something good. Yeah, mkumbi niko nafanya kitu nzuri. After six months he brought a ship. Baada ya mwezi sita ndio hiyo mbuzi ya mbuzi ingine inaingia. What is that spirit? Amen. So he kept on graduating. Akaendelea kukua na kuitimu. And the parent never rebuked him. Na wasasi hawakukukatasa. But one day siku moja the hand of the law caught up with him. Sheria mkono wa sheria ukakutana na yeye. He was arrested. Na akashikwa. Reaching the court, wakifika kotini, the high court decided that they are going just to kill him. Yani kotini kasema kijana auawe. Kunyongwa. Ya hii ya kunyongwa hiyo. Mwizi wa mababu bwana, wananyongwa. Eh, wananyongwa. So this guy is going to be killed. Ya akasema huyu ataenda kuuawa. And he said, okay, I accept to die. Akasema ni kweli ninakubali kunyongwa. So um electrocuted or killed or whatever they are going to do i want to talk to my father kabla sijafanyiwa chochote au kuwao kufanyiwa ile mnataka lakini naongea na kwanza na wazazi wangu my last request is i want to see my father hebu niongee kwanza na msasi yangu baba yangu and the father was called na baba akaitwa the father came baba akakucha yes my son i understand you want to see me yeah mtoto wangu ninasikia umetaka kunikuongea na mimi and you know he is behind bars na unajua mtoto hapo hapo sasa amekuweka hapo nyuma hapo kwa mbao he told the father please akaambia baba tafadhali put your hand through the bars i want you to feel me before i want to feel your hand before i die weka mkono upitisha mkono wako kwenye dirisha ukanikuseguze nataka nihisi mkono wako au mguso wako kabla sichafa the father did that. Na baba akasema afanye hivyo. Mtoto yako bwana. Kijana alishika mkono ya baba. Yaani the boy get hold of the hand of his father. Alitafuna he chewed the hand. Akakula akatafuna mkono ya baba yote. The askari is trying to pull the guy away. He askari anajaribu kumuona akasema akalia kama amesana sana toa dawa. He said it is. Akasema hivi. I can't let him go. Siwezi kuruhusu akaondoke. If 
the time I was stealing, he would have told me it is wrong. I will not be here. But when I was bringing back home, he was receiving a return. So I want to die with him. Will you be a happy father if you are the one? Hello. Hello. Remember, God has given you that position as the head. You can change the generations that are coming up. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 We sit as a family to pray to read the Bible. If you don't have any family altar in the evening, don't expect them to have family altars in the future. The morning glory prayer. Sunday service. Going to church. When is Amen. When you are already going to church, you see your kids learning to visit their friends. You hear your wife says, I'm going to do laundry today. And it is a Sunday day. They are supposed to be going to church. Already you should know there's a problem. You understand what I said? I said this. Can we do a statistical change? Uh, uh, analysis now. Thank you. Yes. Is there any analysis? Uchanganusi. Uchanganusi. Tumapili. Yes, when you are preparing for Sunday service. Hallelujah. Amen. Watoto wako anasema, ha. Then you see what my children are saying. The same thing. thing Why your wife says I'm going for laundry or something else? Amen. How many people are facing such a challenge? We are here. We don't let all the children. We are before God on the children. Let us be just faithful. So, yeah. They are saying the truth, isn't it? Yes. What is that? Yes. That's the truth. Yes. There is something we need to refocus in our life. <laughs> and adjust our values in life. Yes. God has given you power and authority. Mungu amekupea uwezo na mamlaka. You are the one to guide the family. Wewe ndio unaongoza familia yako. Wanisa sifiwe. Amen. Let's read the Bible. Genesis so, chapter 35 verses 1. Tusome andiko mwanzo 35. Yes, we are come, brother. You are welcome to our session today. Your wife and brother Dev for this morning session. Welcome you. Genesis 35, verses 1 to 3. Uh -huh. Yes, please. Mungu akamambia Yakobo. Yeah. Ondoka, panda, uende, bethedi. Akakae huko. Just hold on. Sit down. Yes, Mami Apo. No, 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 for those people who know what theology, but what they are to theology. Wale 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 theology wale wale theology. The word Bethel. Maneno Bethel is two words. Ni maneno mawili. 
The first word is bed. Bed means a house. Bed in the manisha nyumba. Like in the Bible, Bethphage, Bethany, Elizabeth, it means house of God, house, house of, of house, 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 nyumba, 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 nyumba. The last word, E-L, <laughs> is a short form of Elohim. Ni ya neno Elohim. Elohim, the Lord of Elohim. Elohim, 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 so when you combine the bed, so, house and God means house of what? Correct. Yes. And now I want you to read it now. Mm -hmm. Where you find the Bethel, put the house of God. Ukipata mali mariko kwa kingereza Bethel, Bethel kwa Kiswahili, unawe ni nyumba ya Mungu. Kwa Kiswahili weka nyumba ya Mungu, Kiingereza weka house of God. Uh -huh. Now read it now. So, now let's go to Now let's go to Yes. Joshua, are you there? Yes. Let's read. 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 Let's Ukampanye mungu madhabahu huko. Aha. Ukampanye mungu madhabahu huko. Mduwe The Bible says yes. in verse 1. Mm. Then God said to Jacob. Mm. Yes. Get, uh, go up to the house of God. Uh -huh. yes. And settle there. And settle there. What are you going to do? And to build an altar there to God. Brethren, Joshua. Wanuku sangu Yoshua ya sasa. When God spoke he saw the family of Jacob hallelujah Amen. for those people who have the knowledge about the life of Jacob Jacob was married how many wives I want those people who know the Bible how many wives you was married two wives. Two wives. Leah and the uh -huh. Uh -huh. Two wives. Really? Ni, ni uh, really? Yes. Really? Okay. Uh -huh. With the quotes. Okay. Uh -huh. But did you read the Bible? Now Leah took her maid and gave it to Jacob. Yeah. To the wife. To the wife. To the wife. And Rachel took her maid to Jacob to be wife. So on top of Leah and Rachel, he had extra two ladies. Yes. How many were they? Four. Four. According to the Bible, how many sons did he have? Twelve. Twelve of them. We are in class. Basically, you have to watch out. Yes, my brother. Twelve of them. Twelve. How many agree? Amen. Read that verse again. In English, what does it say? Yes, verse 1. Verse 1 says, Then God said to Jacob, Just a minute. Why did God speak to Rachel? Kwa nini mungu hapo sumuruza na Rachel? Why didn't God speak to Leah? Why didn't God speak to one of the sons? He came directly to the earth. Why did God speak to Leah? Why didn't God speak to one of the sons? Why did God speak to Leah? Why didn't God speak to one of the sons? Why didn't God speak to Leah? Why didn't God speak to one of the sons? Why didn't God speak to Leah? Why didn't God speak to one of the sons? The responsibility of you leading the family to church falls on you. Chugumu na kuongoza kanisa, kuboma ya kupa kanisa, hiko juu ya kuwewe. Let's continue. Tuende le. The same, same verse. Atika yu, atika yu tu. Verses 2. Mstari wa pili. 
mstari wa pili unasema eh. Yako, Yakobo akawaambia watu wa nyumbani mwake Ngoja kidogo Ehe Did you read correctly? Mm. No, 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 I don't believe you. Si yes, somebody is reading. Mwingine asome. What does it say in your English? Mtu mwingine anisome kwa Kiswahili? Verse number 2. Yes. It says, mm. So Jacob said to his household. What did he say to the household? And to all who were with him. Ah, and to all that were with him. Na wote wale kuwa na yeye. Eh. Get rid of uh Foreign God. Mm -hmm. You have you have with you. Yeah. And purify yourselves and change your clothes. Yeah. Verse 3. Just a minute. <coughs> I need somebody to read in Kiswahili. Yes. Nixon, you are misleading us. <laughs> yes. This one has failed. No, can we read from yours? Can we hear from yours? Hey, Yakobo, I can tell you what you are saying. And all of them Waliokuwa pamoja nae It's just the same, isn't it? So the Bible is the same Okay, this is continue reading You are correct But unakitu kina nakuta pae Inasema Inasema aje? Kutia sasa Kwa 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 Ata wambia watu gani? He told the people of his household. Yes. Na watu waliokuwa pamoja nae. Ai moja kidogo. Let's put a comma there. What did Jacob do? Tuwe kwa alama ya kusimama kidogo. After God came and spoke to Jacob. Ada ya mungu kusumuza na Jacob. And he told him arise and go to heaven. Na kumambia wamba enda nyumba ya mungu. What did Jacob do? Jacob walifanya nini? He turned to his household. Aka, aka rudia nyumba yake. His own family. Aka endea boma yake, nyumba yake. And the servants that were with him. Na watumisha mba walikuwa ndani wote. What did he tell them? And aka wambia nini? I want you to follow the instructions. Na taka iwewe ukafuate manana haya. Follow what Nixon is reading. Ebu ufuateli sana yale Nixon anasoma. Ebu anza sasa hapo. Ebu anza kuzuri sana. Yakobo akawambia watu wa nyumbani mwake. Nyumbani mwake, mke wake na watoto. Na watu waliokuwa pamoja naye. Na watu waliokuwa pamoja naye pamoja na wafanyikazi. Yes. Ondoweni miungu migeni iliyoko kwenu. Hello? Yes. Ondoweni nini? Miungu migeni iliyoko kwenu. Cause in your midst. You can sit my brother. You see Jacob resumed the position of being a pastor and a leader and an evangelist. Unajua Jacob alikubali kwa kuchukua nafasi ya kuwa kiongozi na na kiongozi aboma. God had spoken to him. Na Mungu akamzungumza na yeye. And now he comes to speak to his father. Na akarudi sasa katika boma yake. And he said what? Akasema nini? Get rid of the ghosts. Ondoni miungu. Yogoni mwenu. You see, you cannot come and worship God and serve God when you have idols. We sikuta hapa na kwa budu mungu na kutumika mungu kama pada kuna miungu dani yako. Jesus said you will love one and you will hate the other one. Jesus wa kasema utapeda mocha na utamchukia mwengine hawe siku utumikia mabwana wa wili kwa zabali mocha. So Jacob told them get rid of the God. So tuoto eni mwengine hii miungu zingine mtupe na mwache. Jacob knew what these people had done. He knew his wife had stolen his father's gods. He knew the kind of tradition they were living around. And then he knew that they are going to serve a holy God. And they are going to serve a holy God. And they are going to serve a holy God. And they are going to serve a holy God. And they are going to serve a holy God. And they are going to serve a holy God. And they are going to serve a holy God. And they are going to serve a holy God. And they are going to serve a holy God. You can serve, you cannot serve a holy Jehovah and you have another idols in you. Hello. Hello. Are we together? Yes. Amen. Let me give you an example. What are you going to do? Amen. In 1964. 
Yeah. We migrated from where we were living. Na hizi kuto walitoka mahali walikuwa wanaishi na wakakuja. To come to Moise Bridge. Tukakuja Moise Bridge. By then it was called Moise Bridge. Ilikuwa inaitwaje Moise Bridge. Moise Moise Moise. Moise. This place was a white place. Sasa tamka hiyo. Moise Moise. Moise Bridge. And before we emigrated, na kabla tujahama We were asking our father, what kind of people are we going to meet? He said, we are going to meet a lot of people. And my father did not know. He added, we are going to meet Bukusu. And Wagisu. And he added this. And these Bukusu people and Wagisu people, immediately <laughs> fearing to end up in somebody's plate as food. <laughs> Finally, we emigrated to Moise Bridge. And you know when we landed in Moise Bridge, we were all eyes and ears looking for this book. How do they look like? How do they talk like? How do they talk like? These kind of people who eat other people. First day, second day, third day. We didn't know that we were living with the Fukus. We were playing with the Fukus. And we were waiting to hear one of us has disappeared. What is our spirit? Amen. By and by, the fear disappeared. <laughs> In Moise Bridge, there is a river called River Zoya. There is a river in Zoya. It had a lot of cattle. So we take to hard the cattle near the river. And we found the Bukusu people fishing. They were fishing. And we love eating fish. So we soon learned how to fish. One day, I went fishing. I found a fish that was about 10 in the morning. I came back in the afternoon. I had only five pieces in my bag. My mother quarreled with me. My mother quarreled with me. And she said, you went to swim and play. We, 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 Na kaniambia lazima utafute bahati yako. Yes, tafuta bahati yako. You should know if your luck is a male or female. Lazima ujue ya kwamba bahati yako ni ni mwanaume au ni wa kike. That was new to me. Hiyo kitu ilikuwa ni tofauti ni kigeni kwangu. And my teacher told me do this. Na mwalimu wangu akaniambia fanya hivi. Next Saturday, chuma mosi chayo before going to fish. Kabla ujaenda kushika samaki. Get ready. But don't meet a man. Look out on the road. Sorry? Don't meet a man. Look at the road. You can see a woman or a girl. Oh, you can greet that person. And then you will know your life. On Saturday. John, I was ready. I want to practice. What I have taught. I waited. I'm waiting for a woman. Then a woman called Alesso, a Kawango lady, left her home. Kuna mama, they were like Alesso, a Katokea. 
Jameni mama akujua bila nilimsalimia. Hapa he. Mara moja. Haikata mara moja nikamwambia habari yako. Msore ni unahoja huru ba. Mimi nimetemka haraka I want to fish and I want to see my land. Nikasalamia na kukimbia katika mtoni kwenda kuvua samaki haraka sana. Ukaribu bahati yako. That day came back with four pieces of fish. Yo siku ndio nirudi chini ikakuwa nne sasa. Now the following Saturday Saturday night to meet a man. Like I said I'm going to talk to a man. That Saturday. Saturday yo. I didn't want to see a woman. Si nataka kuona mwanamke hapo. I want to see a man. Nataka nisalimie mwanaume. And then I saw a Christian guy called Wandeka. Nikaona mkisu anaitwa Wandeka. I went and greeted him. Nikasalamia Wandeka. And I went fishing. Na nikaendelea kwenda kuvua. I started fishing around 10. Nikaanza kuvua saa kitu kama saa 4. And by 12 in the noon. Ilipofika saa 6 jioni. I came back home. Nikarudi nyumbani. My bag was full. Ilikuwa imechaa. And some fish was still alive. No father was some like you know you go in the high in the night. And I remember that day as I was on the sasa. I had not in my luck. You see on the sasa the joy of my and the party. Every time when going out I must meet a man. Nikita kwa na kushika samaki na salamia mwanaume. Hello. Hello. I didn't know that I was getting myself into a trap. Si kujua ya kwamba nilikuwa nikitembea katika mteko. Everything. Kila kitu. I grew up nikaendelea kukua I went to school nikaenda shule I was employed nikaajiriwa kazi I could not travel my journey anywhere without meeting a man Sikaenda safari yangu mahali popote bila kukutana mwanaume Because if I meet a woman man nikutana na mwanamke siku hiyo inaridika Hello Hello Am I talking something you know Naongea kitu unaelewa After God had blessed me with his children Baada ya Mungu nibariki na watoto na I had my first two children were boys. Nikaanza pata watoto wawili wangu wa kwanza vijana. Sometime I want to travel. Nikijaribu kutembea. I want to travel. Nataka niende safari. But there's no guy coming along the road. Hakuna mtu anakuja akakwajia. And I want to go. Na nataka niende. I send my boy. Natuma vijana wangu. Can you go and bring me that tree? Mimi natuma ile ile tree mimi ni biti. The boy goes and picks it brings the branch. Na analeta hiyo 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 miti. When he's coming back, I go now. I have met a boy. I know. I never said it. But I didn't know that I was observing idol worship. Si kujua ya kwamba ni natasami ya ipande ya sanam. Hello. How many of you practice ukendo rubi? Now let's talk practice. You do. You did. Joshua. Suppose now you are producing people who follow traditions. Ukifuata sasa una una wewe ni Joshua unaleta watu ambao wanafuata tamaduni. And that is why Jacob turned to members of his family. Kipoza Jacob alikeukia familia yake. And he said what? Na akamwambia nini? Get rid of the idols. Ondoeni miungu miongoni mwenu. Hello Joshua so today. Ajua Joshua ya sasa kama sikiwe. Lazima tuondoe miungu ya kati miongoni mwetu. We have traditions and belief that will hinder us from seeing the glory of God. Amen. One guy told me, when you are traveling like this, you knock your right leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does it mean? What is it? What does it mean? What does it mean? Atiyo ni bahati mzuri sana. And suppose you knock your left leg. Na ukikuwa na ya ya mbona left. Atiyo ni bahati mbaya inaridika. Hello. Hello. Amen. Somebody told me. Kuna mtu aliniambia. When you are going on a journey. Ukienda safari. Alafu nakutana na kinda mwenyezi naitwaje kwa Kiswahili. Siafu. Ukikutana na siafu. This yes. Atiyo. And Black ants or black ants? Yes. Yeah. Yes. When they are carrying nothing. Ukipe, ukikuta na wao wanaenda safari wanapenda na kula siku wanapenda na na wanapita barabara yenye unaelekea. It means where you are going there is nothing. Inaonekana mahali unaenda ni cha tu. Ni cha tu. You better go back. Afadhali urudi. But when you meet them carrying ants and everything. Na ukipata na ukikuta nao wanapenda chakula. Unaenda sasa safari utakuta ni mingi sana huko mbele. Those are the idols that we have. Inaitwa hiyo ni hiyo ni ibada ya sanamu. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Jacob Jacob said, 
Jacopo akambia ya kwamba ondoeni miungu miungu limwenu. Amen. Are we learning? Yes. Yeah. 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 Nixon continue reading. Mm -hmm. Verses 2 and 3. And not only Nixon, anybody can read. Mm. Mm. Yes. 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 Twende nyumba ya Mungu twende Betheli. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do there? Nami nitamfanyia Mungu madhabahu. That's where I'm going to build an altar for God. Yes. You can sit down my brother. Unaweza kaa chini ndugu yangu. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So Let me drive my point home. Wacha niendelee kusema malengo yangu. It's your responsibility as a Joshua. Ni jukumu lako kama Joshua to lead your people the house of God. Amen. Amen. Do not look at your wife and say it is the responsibility of my wife to tell the children let's go to church. Amen. 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 I don't believe in this idea where the wife attends SCK and the husband attends AIC and the yes. children attend Christo Church. Yes, I mean it. It appears that when the mother is away, when they are carrying their kids, now when they are going to the mother, they are carrying their kids. Now when they are going to the mother, they are carrying their kids. I don't believe in that. Yes, I mean it. It appears. Genesis chapter seven, verses one. Eh, Mwanzo. Mustoka <laughs> 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 Come into the ark. You and all your household. Because I have seen, I have seen that you are righteous before me in this generation. In this generation. In this generation. Hallelujah. Amen. So brother, my Joshua of today. Dugu yangu Yoshua ya sasa. Jacob turned to his family Jacobo and told him, let us go to the house of God. Akambia, and God comes and tells Noah, come into the house of God. 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 You are here. Huko hapa leo. You are attending SCK church. Huko naenda kanisa ya SCK. And your wife. Na bibi yako. Goes to AIC. Anaenda AIC. And they had the kids. They <laughs> want Christian. Na watoto. Na watoto church. Na watoto anaenda Christo church. Yes. Joshua. Joshua. Moses si lazima ndio. Hebu tengisha Joshua mwambie Joshua. Wale kero singiza ni kristo mwambie Joshua. Send a missionary without his wife. They will always go to. Wanenda wa wili wa wili. And they serve in the same ministry. Amen. It's what you to try a boom with the name. We are filled, Bwana. We are as men, we are filled. We have neglected our duties and our responsibilities. We wanted to bring these people to their destination. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So you can get out of this place and then talk to your family. Sit down. Catch him down and talk this thing. Square this thing. Square this thing. What to us from today? Now we are going to see Leo. What is as if we were? Amen. Mulango to Nenda Wapi. Ah. Papa, 
Still time, still time. Go ahead, sir. 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 Go ahead, sir.
be prepared kwa sababu ile kwa mfano one kwa mwana ni mimi mjugaji nimeusa mjugaji niko na mjugaji kama huyo anasema huyu huyu mtu wako anambia pia mtu wako okay so na you have a pastor yes uh how you serve somebody sasa ni the wife goes to another church why why are you lady going to another church and your husband is going to this church yeah. your wife is not this. <laughs> it's not behavior the karma it's not behavior anatoroka tu hata ajui anadala wapi ajui anawacha nini nyumbani hapo tu siasa zinezi or right or something like that did you hear that yes he says what he has a leader aku niko na kiongozi not even mtu wa Mungu mtu wake ni mtu wake ya and he's supposed to be a leader a pastor yes. somewhere yes the wife says this na kwa mke akasema hivi this guy is not responsible huyu jamaa hajukumiki he's neglected his family ameacha majukumu ya boma no food hakuna chakula no care hakuna mtuzi he goes anywhere na hako anatembe tembe tu ofyo nitaandamana na mtu mwenye hana mwelekeo hasa aya how can i follow he's not example <laughs> why So sometimes our families itabidi ukiuke yeah. if you are the problem you have to, you change. Have to change yes yesterday i said what jana nilisema nini in where upadilika lazima iasie mimi inaasia wewe and if you find that you leave this conference today and you are not changed na ukitoona kwamba utatoka katika hii kongamano na fila kubalika kuna shida na wewe amen hallelujah amen direction on how to take care of your family or how to get a good wife yeah, yeah. something like that yes. yes. yeah How do you uh, how, how do I ask God and get how do God answers because sometimes God uh, you might get a lady and you think this is the God is answers and it comes a mess in your life <laughs> how do I know that this is the answers coming from God how do we know that this are this are the guidance of God so I can hold on to this and uh, my family is going to be successful because uh, I see most of most most problems we face is I've been praying and I got a, a lady and i think this is god's choice and at the end of the day the family is in a mess what is as if you amen yeah the, the teaching is leading us somewhere sasa mafundisho inatufuleka mali pengine ah this thing kana sadi tu but what to answer that question lakini nataka nijibu swala hilo between you and god what's your relationship kati yako wewe na mungu ushawa wenu ni gani you must have direct line connection with god lazima uwe na ushana bali itabidi kati yako na mungu let me give you my own example wacha ni wape mfano wangu mimi wenyewe this is not good for me to use my example lakini si mzuri mimi nikitumie kama mfano i was brought up by serious born again christian nili toka katika jamii ambao watu wanapenda mungu kweli Pentecostal revival. Kanisa ya Pentecosti ambaye imefufuliwa. And after we grew up, 
I personally received Jesus in my life. And afterwards, I received the inner feeling of the Holy Spirit. And I got on fire for Preaching here and there attracted a lot of ladies in our family. They could visit us. In those days, we did not have this kind of immorality we have today. They could come to our home. They helped my mom to clean, wafakie mama wafakie walete maji kwa mtoni do a lot of things wafanye shughuli mingi sana i had no relationship with just a friend sina ushano yote lakini marura kitu other people come in wengine wanaingilia wakaendelea kuingia na kutoka one day my mother told me mmoja mama yangu akaniambia you see this lady unaona yu msichana my son mtoto wangu if one day you decide to marry siku mmoja ukiamua kuoa i would like you to marry this lady ningekwambia wewe yu msichana I said, Mom, I've heard. But I'm not promising you. My father had a different idea. Son, I love this girl. I love this girl. At the same time, I had my own idea. I said, Mom, I've heard. One time, I was now ready to marry. I was now ready to marry. And I told God, I don't know who for me to marry. I went on prayer and fasting. <laughs> and on the mountain while praying, I started testing every car. The first one was the one my mother told me marry this one. I talked to God. I said, God, I am going to visit this room. And I want to test her on this ground. Confirm for me, oh God. And I wrote it down. I wrote The test was this. I will visit her. I will eat the meal they will prepare. Some Africa will prepare a cup of tea. I'll say, I'm satisfied. Then I said, Lord, what is the meaning of this? That's what I told God. God, Mungu, if she will insist, I will accept. And I will tell her, put a half a cup. Work a nusu. Lord, Mungu, if she's the right woman for me, kama ni mwanamke wa kweli umenipea, I have a cup. Nusu ya kikombe. If she will feel it, akijaza, she's not the one. Sio mke wangu. Sasa kwa sababu ni nilianza Mungu. So I said that the lady, nikatembelea hiyo mshahara, I was received. Nikapokelewa, parents knew me. Wasasi wake wananijua. Mungu mbili preach and preach and come. Tumishi karibu 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 hapa hapa hapa. Mimi was prepared. Waka ni chakula kitengeneza. A very good kibuyu ya maziwa. I was given. Yes, kibuyu ya maziwa ikaletwa pale. And then a cup of chicken. I told the lady, please, I'm satisfied. Oh, please, oh, please, you know what I told her. I said, okay, if you insist, I will take a half a cup. 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 Overflow. I looked up I said, God, man. It's not the one. I never told her. But I had known that God is not the right one. I went to the second. Lord, here is the test. Cause this lady to write to me a letter. Amen. Amen. And he na aleta na katika yuko barua yake put these words. Weka i maneno. John. 
John, I love you. Nina Kupenda. God, if she will write this note, <laughs> I know she's not the right one for me. <laughs> it's your serious faith. I didn't after two months, I received a letter. In those days, we never had the perfume we have nowadays. We had what we call Johnson's baby's powder. She had sprinkled the letter with the powder. Very nice. She's born again. I read a very sweet letter. At the end, it was written, I love you. God is a witness. Mungu, this is what I did. Slowly, until I got the one I have. Please, let's continue the teaching. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I can see your hands, sir. Pam, 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 what? Your name is? Pam, what? Thank you. Seven minutes to time. Yes. Oh, so we should be praying now. Hallelujah. I want Job chapter 1, verses 4 and 5. Do we need to read in English? Yes. Okay, let's read. The Bible says in Job chapter 1, verse 4 His sons used to take time holding feasts in their houses. And they would invite their their three their three sisters to eat and drink with them. Verse five. When a period of uh, feasting had run in its course, Job would descend and have them purified. Early in the morning, he would sacrifice a pound offering. For each of them. Each of them. Thinking, perhaps my children have sinned and cast God mm -hmm. in their hearts. Mm -hmm. This was Job's re regular custom. This was Job's regular custom. Mm -hmm. In Joshua, Moja, Nibundua, Wamba. This is Joy, what Joshua, he come to understand. Now, I don't want to tell you that I 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 want to tell you that Maybe they are just. And he did this continuously before God, praying and offering sacrifice. Would you want? Uh, where we in Africa? Me in Africa. I know you are African. If me, I am African. Ni mtugani katika ki Africa alikuwa na kubaliyo kwa da kumadaba. What kind of person was was accepted in Africa to go and into to make an altar? I want to preach in Uganda. And I went through this route. A place before Amanan. We had a conference. A place they call uh, people name. Unajina. Kakoros. Kakoros. Kakoros somewhere there. Kakoros mahali flani. And always being a warrior in prayer, I like asking elders to find out the area. What's this area about? Wani, wana penda sana kila siku kujua kama muombazi, muombavu, muombaji chubavu kujua ni area iko na nakani. The elders told me this, this area we had our traditional altar. Hii area NG tuko na madhabau yetu ya NG. Before, when the food is ready, the crops are ready. So, wakati chakula imansa kuifa, ifa ivi. Before you eat any food, we take some food to the altar. Kapula ujasa wakula unachukua kapadhi ya chakula. We present them before our hosts. Tunapaleke miungu yetu. In the altar. Katika madabawi yetu ya chakula. Tunachoma. 
Kwanesa asifiwe. Amen. Yule mtu ana mamlaka na ruhusa ya kwenda kwenye madhabahu ikuhani. Yule mtu okay. The pastor who has the authority. Kwanesa asifiwe. Yes. Tulite sacrifice. So huyu mtu ambaye alikuwa anapeana sadaka kwa ajili ya watoto wake, alitambua kwamba yeye ana mamlaka ya ukuhani. The, pa- the person who was giving the sacrifice, sacrifice because of his children, he, ac- he acknowledged that he is the priest. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us read. Leviticus chapter 6 verses 12. Yes. Mambo ya Walawi. Leviticus chapter 6 verses 12. Yes. Anybody can read. Okay, Asante ndugu yangu, soma. And the fire on the altar shall be set burning on it. And the fire on the altar shall be set burning on it. Uh-huh. It shall not be a book of out. Uh-huh. And the priest shall, and the priest shall Every morning. Oh, what was the responsibility of this guy putting the wood? Who was that? Mm-hmm. And in this sacrifice, the guy to put it in order is the priest. And he shall stand on it the fat of the priest offering. Thank you, my brother. You can see. But it's as if you were. Amen. Tuko pamoja jebe. Yes. Again, kwa sababu ya sai mesha, I want us to stand on our feet. Kwa sababu ya sai mefika 